Hi students, my name is Siddhi and today we are going to start with a chapter called as Redox Reaction. Now, whenever you hear a word called as reaction, it hits our mind and it says that it must be a difficult chapter. But student, trust me, I'm going to run through few of the pictures which will let you know that this can easily be connected with our day-to-day -day life activity. So now there are certain pictures which are running here and you can easily connect this picture with your day-to-day -day life activity, isn't it? Right. So now what are the pictures all about? We will see here that what exactly each and every picture indicates here. A very first picture is nothing but a monkey wash pan and a shirt which we use in our day-to-day -day life, right? And another picture is nothing but a hair coloring, right? A black is turning to white. What is that? That is a bleaching process which is a redox reaction. Another picture if you see is nothing but photosynthesis process. And the next one was respiration. Now students, in our lower class, we have already studied the reactions also for the same. And we often use this word when we study biology. But actually what these reactions are? Yes, they involve redox reactions. The next picture is degradation of bananas. Yeah, whenever you go to kitchen, you see after a few days, the fruits get turned to a degraded process where it turns black. If you take banana or if you take apple, what is that process? If you use a chemical term, since we are a chemistry student, we'll use a term called as oxidation reaction, which is again a part of redox reaction. So now it must be very much clear to you the reactions which you are studying, the terms which you are using here is connecting us to a chapter called as redox reaction. The picture which you see here is nothing but a metallurgical process which is nothing but extraction of metals. Right. Next picture is nothing but the smoke which is coming out from the fuels. The electroplating of gold and the rusting of iron. All this involves a reactions which are nothing but a redox reaction. So students, can you think now how interesting this chapter must be? So in our next module, definitely we'll be starting with the definitions of the redox reaction. Till then, goodbye.